Let's dig in. Good ingredients. Today we're here in Milan, Italy, and today we're going to try a pizza place called Bontini. Yes, so this is a chain around Italy, I believe. Mm -hmm. It's definitely around Milan. I don't know if it's in other cities necessarily, but there are a lot of these places, and we have been seeing so many people walking around with boxes saying <laughs> Spontini on them. So we had to give it a try. It looks like they have a thicker pizza, and it's a very quick sit down, grab your pizza, pizza slice and enjoy it. So we're gonna head inside real quick and show you what it's all about. So let's go. Let's go. English? Yeah. The Pontini no meat? Is it? Um, with fish and chops, you like? What is more popular with the meat? Oui. With the meat? Okay, one. Sure? Yes. Is there anything else you recommend to try first time? Or Thank if you. If you want, um, other one is a primavera. Tomato, cherry, mm -hmm. grana, and salad. Add that one, one too. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Is our fish Four. 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 Sure? Yeah. If we no finish, we can take it, no? Yeah, sure. So? sure. I give you a bet. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we have our pizzas here, the best seat in the house. We're eating in front of the, the whole Galleria shopping area. I like the silverware, everything's wood. We've got the ham with mushroom. We have the salami here. Then we have the primavera. And last, but certainly not least, the margarita. These are the four most popular pizzas to get. That's why we went overboard. You can take it to go if you don't finish, so don't worry. We will eat these. Let's dig in. First, I will go to the ham and mushroom. I really like how they make it easy, even though I just dropped a small piece. They cut, it, right? they cut it nicely. It is not common for your pizza to come cut in Italy. Since this is like a quick bite kind of place, it makes it somewhat easy. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. Okay, <laughs> one, two, three. Mmm, easy way to describe this. We all know Sabaros back in the US, in the malls. If Sabaros got their act together, this is what you'd have. Better pizza, a little thicker. It's its own thing. It's not authentic Italian, maybe, as far as traditional, but as far as a fast food chain, this is great. I want to move on to the next one though. So we have the salami. Oh man, the cheese is so good. Thumbs up for me on this. That's my favorite so far. Okay, so I will try the Primavera. So for me, this is like a little bit of a un traditional Italian pizza because I'm more used to the pizza napolitana, thin crust, you know. But let's give it a try. They really try to make it easy for you with the cutting. And I actually appreciate that. Like, especially if you want a fast bite. I wouldn't want to have to cut my pizza right now, like standing out here. So that's nice that they do it even though it's not the norm. Enjoy. Mmm, it's really good. Even though it's thick, it's a thicker crust than I'm used to, it's still pretty nice. It has, it's a really, it has a nice crunch to it. Good ingredients. And of course, nothing can top the Parmesan cheese on top. It's really good. So now I will move on to their margarita, which is like a simple cheese pizza. Let's see how that goes. Oh, you can see the crust is nice, nicely done. On the bottom, really nice. From the look, it actually reminds me a little bit of pizza that I could get in the US. I have to be honest, but let's take a bite. Mm -hmm. This one is really good. This tastes like a pizza. I would say like a mix of New York style pizza and Chicago style pizza because it's still it has the crunch and it's a little bit thicker yeah I, I think it's the best thing to say it's a mix of New York style and Chicago style with a touch of Italian because we're here in Italy the cheese is you can tell it's superior it's Italian cheese really good hey, hey guys. guys so we're back now in our hotel room after we finished at Spontini's how did you like it I loved it actually 
it is going to be a must-go-to place every time I visit Milan. Yeah. Everything about it. The ingredients are good. The service was outstanding. The lady behind the counter that was helping us was super friendly, super helpful. She even gave us tips and pointers and just answered all these questions we had. So I really like that. Service is so key. It makes such a big difference in the experience. So they have a fan for life. Let's just go oh, like yes. that. So yeah. Spontini gets the thumbs up yeah. from me. Also, we got... Um, a um, tiramisu and then we've got a creme brulee over here so these are the two here we know what these pretty, pretty much taste like so i don't think we need to eat them on camera yeah, but um, awesome. pretty good. they give you nice little spoons as well and then also the boxes if you can't finish your food you can always take it in a little box like this and um sandy's pizzas over there yeah. And I have mine as well, so I'm sure we'll have plenty to eat. Yes. But with that said, yeah. we are heading back to the U.S. soon. So more videos to come on our future travels and maybe some Houston videos. Let us know down below if there's something you'd like to see. And if you'd enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more videos coming soon. See you on the next one, guys. Bye. Bye.